Factors and divisibility. How can we tell if a number is a factor of another number? If a number divides another number evenly without a remainder, then that number is a factor of the other number. Let's take a look at an example. Is 5 a factor of 30? 5 will be a factor of 30 if 5 divides 30 evenly without a remainder. We can solve using arrays and long division. Distribute the 30 tiles evenly amongst the 5 rows. We were able to distribute the 30 tiles evenly, creating 6 columns and 5 rows, without a remainder. This means that 5 is a factor of 30. Let's try solving using long division. 30 divided by 5. We put 6 at the top. 5 times 6 equals 30, so we subtract 30 from 30. We get 0. The remainder is 0, so 5 is a factor of 30. Let's try another example. Is 6 a factor of 27? To check if 6 is a factor of 27, we have to divide 27 by 6. If we have no remainder, then 6 will be a factor of 27. Let's solve using an array. Draw an array with 6 rows. Distribute 27 tiles amongst the 6 rows. We got 4 complete columns with 3 tiles remaining. So 3 is our remainder. 6 is not a factor of 27. We can also solve using long division. 27 divided by 6. We put 4 at the top. 6 times 4 equals 24. 27 minus 24 equals 3. So the quotient is 4 with the remainder of 3. 6 is not a factor of 27. Let's try another example. Is 5 a factor of 95? 5 will be a factor of 95 if we can divide 95 by 5 without a remainder. This time, we're going to use divisibility rules to solve. We find 5 on the table because we're dividing by 5. The divisibility rules table states that a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. The last digit of 95 is 5, so 95 is divisible by 5. 5 is a factor of 95. Using divisibility rules is helpful because we are able to save time by avoiding long division. Let's try another example. Is 6 a factor of 82? 6 would be a factor of 82 if we can divide 82 by 6 without a remainder. Let's use the divisibility rules table to help us solve. We find 6 on the table because we're dividing by 6. The divisibility rules state a number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Let's check if 82 is divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. The last digit of 82 is 2. 2 is an even number, so 82 is divisible by 2. Let's check if 82 is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 10 is not divisible by 3 without a remainder. So 82 is not divisible by 3. 82 is not divisible by 6 because 82 is not divisible by 3. So 6 is not a factor of 82 because we can't divide 82 by 6 without a remainder. Let's try another example. List all the factor pairs for 63 in the table. We're going to use the divisibility rules to help. First, we write the factors 1 and 63. 1 and itself will always be factors of the number. Let's see if 2 is a factor of 63. We have to check if 63 is divisible by 2. The last digit is odd, so 2 is not a factor. 
The sum of the digits is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so 3 is a factor. Divide 63 by 3 to find the factor pair. Sixty three divided by three equals twenty one. Division and multiplication are inverse operations, so three times twenty one equals sixty three. Three and twenty one are a factor pair. Four is not on the divisibility rules table, so we have to use long division to solve. Divide sixty three by four. 15 with a remainder of 3. Because we have a remainder, 4 is not a factor of 63. Let's check 5. The last digit is 3, so 5 is not a factor of 63. Let's try 6. 63 is not divisible by 2, so it is not divisible by 6. Let's check 7. 7 is not on the table, so we have to use long division. 63 divided by 7 equals 9. So 7 times 9 equals 63. 7 and 9 are a factor pair. 8 is also not on the table, so we have to use long division again. 63 divided by 8 equals 7 with a remainder of 7, so 8 is not a factor of 63. Let's try 9. The sum of the digits is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. Using the table, we see that 63 is divisible by 9. So 9 is a factor, but we already used 9 in the previous factor pair, so we don't rewrite it. Let's check 10. The last digit is 3, so 10 is not a factor. So the factor pairs of 63 are 1 and 63, 3 and 21, and 7 and 9. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.